Welcome back everybody, my name is Wolf, here with the Darksiders 2 Apocalyptic Difficulty Walkthrough. Last time we did one of the sides of the Tears of the Mountain dungeon. Still not sure if that's what this dungeon's called, but that's what I'm going to call it since that's what the mission's called. But uh, here we are back in the main room. We're just going to get started right away opening this chest because we didn't do it before. If you did jump down here for the chest, uh, it won't be there. But uh, we're going to continue on our way to the other side. Got to take out a few of these um, dog creature things. And then into the water. We're going to swim through this tunnel. You, uh, If you haven't learned how to swim yet, hitting right bumper does this little dash move. Uh, I'm not really sure if it's very effective, but... There's a coin at the bottom, like, right when you exit the, uh, the little channel that you're swimming through. So grab that, and then head over to this wall, and you can climb up the wall. And if you want to skip the chest, you can go to your right, but we're going to go left, run along the wall, until we find another set of these little, uh, rails to jump up. And there's the chest, because I love to open chests, and chests are good. And those aren't bad sites. Crit damage, I'm going to go with that. I'm still not 100% sure how these stats work, but normally I'm taking the higher damage weapons over their abilities. But as I said with my secondary weapons, I'm using frost weapons because they, um, they seem to do a little bit better one-on-one -on -one combat. And they also freeze enemies, which is pretty cool. But when, when you... Ah, ah, I can't talk today. I'm so sorry. When you walk through that door, it'll shut and you will get jumped by a whole bunch of these dog creature things. Um, try to take them out as quickly as possible because there will be more coming for sure. I got stuck in that corner for a second, took a little bit of damage. Probably not the thing that you want to do. But uh, what can you do? But I summoned... Uh, or I summoned... I'm telling you, I can't talk today for some reason. I summoned my uh, zombies right out the beginning of this uh, fight because I knew it would be uh, very difficult to take all these guys out, especially when you're having to get out of the way of their swipe attacks. Um, and then I popped my shield and got hit a few times, so I guess it's good that I popped the shield, but then again, it takes a second for you to pop your shield, and that's probably why I got hit in the first place. But... Um, uh, there, I used that B attack to kind of make it so that I was invincible for a little while. Everyone backs off you when you're doing your execution, so saving those guys till the end is probably what you want to do. <coughs> Sorry about that, I didn't mean to cough in the middle of my voiceover. But, um, alright, this guy shows up. Man, I really need to learn the names of these, um, enemies. But, as I've said before, these guys are very tough to take out. They hit very hard. So, you know, if you have to run around and kind of kite them around the room a little bit, you just might want to do it. Because if they land a few hits on you, you know, goodbye health bar. But uh, my claws, since they freeze, they did, they did extensive amounts of damage and actually made that fight very easy for me. So, if you have freeze weapons use those. I'm probably going to stick with that for the rest of the game because they are super effective. So, um, just destroy all these crates. I was looking for potions. I'm still low on potions at this point. Um, but still can't seem to find any. They're very rare to drop out of chests and, um, and boxes nowadays. But, uh, we're going to find our way into this room. We're looking for a key... We need to find ourselves a key, so we are going to uh, first look around like we're lost. Because apparently I forgot what I did on my practice run. But you're going to jump down here and uh, walk to the end of this area. Jump down, and you see that chest? That chest does have a key in it. But these guys wanted to get in my way, so they must die. That's just the rules. I don't make up the rules. I just enforce them. You get in my way, I kill you. Very simple. But, uh, we're getting low on health, and we only have two potions. 
So I really don't want to start popping potions uh, this early since we're not even to the boss fight yet. We don't need to be popping potions for, you know, random enemies in the dungeon. But there's our skeleton key. Do I want these shoulders? Yeah, I'll take them. They're not even shoulders, it's just like a hood. How is that more defensive than what I had on? That makes no sense. But at least the uh, the image quality of the uh, armor and weapons in this game looks pretty good. I mean, you know, that scowl, even though, probably does less uh, protectiveness than the pauldrons I had on. You know, it still looks pretty cool. So, eh, I'll stay with it, I guess. So, I don't know what I was looking at. Uh, we're going to open this door with the skeleton key we just picked up. Pop open the door. Walk on through. I think we're going to get jumped by some wasps here in a second. There they are. Alright, shoot them in the face. Um, I'm out of bullets. Come on, bullets, come back. I'll just take them out with scythes. Whatever. It works all the same. There are some dog creature things. We're going to kill those guys. God, those those claws do so much damage. It's so beautiful. Alright, so another room has a puzzle. This puzzle is not that hard. It's kind of showing. It shows you exactly what you need to do. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to collect everything in this room. Kind of look around, figuring out everything. Still no potions. Really? None? Okay, no potions. Whatever. That's fine. <laughs> For some reason, you can't roll off cliffs. It just stops you. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, or it's just not really polished that well. I don't know. I feel like I should be able to roll off small things like that. But we're going to run uh, all the way around here so we can pick up this chest. Because I go out of my way for chests because I like them. They're, um, they taunt me. If I don't get them... Ooh, new shoulders. Nice. Um, if I don't get them, they'll just taunt me. They'll just be on the map and taunt me forever. So, I have to go out of my way to get them. I'm telling you, the little corners and stuff that you get caught on in this game. It's, it's like my pet peeve. It really annoys me for some reason. But, I won't try to harp on it. Alright, grab this bomb, throw it on the sticky thing. It's one of those bombs that you have to shoot. And for some reason, my first person shooter, you know, skill is horrible. I, for some reason, can't aim, apparently. But, uh... Still no potions? Are they serious about this? I mean, potions need to drop a little bit more in dungeons. Especially on apocalyptic difficulty. New shoulders again? Really? But the last shoulders look cooler. Ah. I think I looked up here for like two seconds and then was like, oh, there's nothing up there. I bet you anything there's something up there. So, <laughs> go look. See if there's nothing up there. See if I missed it. But, uh, as I said, collectibles will be in a different guide. And, uh... Yeah, grab that uh, that ball thing. If you hold right trigger, I believe it is, he kind of punches it. That'll be a mechanic that you'll need for the boss fight, so they're trying to teach you it here. But to solve this puzzle, you need to put the ball in the hole, but for some reason, it's too good for its home. There we go. Finally, the ball got it in its home. I didn't want to do the whole Happy Gilmore line because I doubt anybody got it the first time. And... I don't know. I feel like you should all get Happy Gilmore lines. Everyone should understand who Adam Sandler is and just love his work like I do. But I guess that's not how it is. Solve that puzzle. You need to go up and get the bomb. Shoot the bomb when it's on the sphere. Releases it and you're up to the next level. Very simple. <laughs> I was getting distracted by talking about Adam Sandler and wasn't explaining to you how to do puzzles. I'm sorry. Hopefully you watched what I was doing. Here's another room with the egg sack flies, the stinger guy. I don't even know. I'm making up words for things now. But uh, there are these dog creatures in here again. Makes it a little bit more difficult than the last room that we dealt with these guys. Just take out the dogs first. Um, if you don't, they'll come up behind you while you're trying to attack the... Um, the wasp sack thing and they will ruin your day 
So I took them out first, tried to take out some of these wasps. I got stung. That hurt. Um, I think they tell you not to pull the stinger out if you get stung. But then it's like, what do you do with it? Do you just leave it there forever? I don't know. But <laughs> as I said before, we need to get some hits in on this sack thing. Or just keep spawning these stupid wasps that keep stinging me. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm going to have to pop a potion here because... Yeah, I keep getting stung. But there's no way around it. I mean, you got to get close to this thing to attack it. And it's like you could take out all the wasps, but by the time you take out all the wasps, they've spawned more wasps. It's like a never-ending circle of wasps. So, I don't know. Just try to keep getting more hits in on this uh, sack of wasps. Kill more wasps as you go on. And eventually... <laughs> I froze that wasp. The, the icicle is bigger than the wasp is. Uh, that's silly. But uh, we're almost almost to the point where we're about to kill this sack. I think one more attack. Or one more fury of attacks. Come on. Come on, destroy it. Oh my goodness, it won't go down. I had to pop a potion. That's... No! Oh my goodness. This is probably one of the more intense fights there. It's done. Why is it that wasps are more difficult to take out than normal enemies for some reason? Ugh, so frustrating. But whatever, they're dead. We don't have to worry about them ever again. And we're finally outside. There's the switch. <laughs> Go up here. I don't know what... Oh, <laughs> that bird freaked me out. Stop it. Okay, so there's the switch. You can't pull it yet because you need to shoot... That bomb, which releases, uh, well, it doesn't release anything. There was a stone blocking the uh, door passage, so you couldn't flip the switch. But you shoot out the bomb, and it releases the gate, and then you pull the lever, and the gate goes up, and the water flows into the next room, and you are clear to go back. Well, not yet. You're not clear to go back all the way. But jump in the canal and swim down about halfway to where the water is being diverted which should be here in a second. Come on. Okay, so you want to go left. The water's being diverted this way. And uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to jump up here, go all the way to my right, jump over this way, and there, another page of the Book of the Dead. We now have three. Need seven more. That's how math works. If you have three of them, or you need ten and you have three, you need seven more. You know, Count Chocula or whatever from, you know, Sesame Street taught us how to count. I don't even know if it was Sesame, Sesame Street that that vampire guy was there. Taught us how to count with bats. Yeah, that's going to help kids count. Let's count bats. Freak kids out. Whatever. Bruce Wayne seemed to have a good time with bats or something. I don't even know anymore. I'm so distracted doing this guide right now. It's like 2 a.m. in the morning. But, uh... <laughs> We made our way up to the switch, pulling the switch, releases the gate, it's finally all the way into the next room, which means we can head back to the hub area, jump in, okay, finally back in the canal, we're going to swim all the way to the end, climb up, head out the door, and we are finally back in the central area, which means one more room to go into before the boss fight. But that will be in the next video. Once again, thank you very much for watching these guides. It means a lot to me if you subscribe, rate, comment. Do all the little things. Makes me happy. If I'm not doing a good job, let me know. I'll fix some things. But until then, hope you guys have a nice time. And see you next video.